So I'm back again for um, a video. I wanted to list my favorite fragrances. And um, since I was having some audio issues with my previous video, I also added on some of my uh, blush blushes, my blush collection that I use on a frequent basis, along with some Wet n Wild products that I use. So I added that to the end of this video. So um, first off, I want to list my favorite fragrances. I've seen some videos on YouTube and I said I wanted to do one, uh, do a video myself featuring my favorite top fragrances. So let's get started. I'll start with my number seven, which is Pink Sugar. And this is Pink Sugar Sensual. And I wrote down the scent fragrance or the notes. And um, I got this from Fragrance Net. And it's got bergamot and black currant notes. So, like this, this is a good everyday fragrance. And this is another good fragrance for everyday wear. Um, I was watching Beauty by Lee, and she listed her top fragrances that she also got from FragranceNet.com. And she mentioned this one, Guilty, Gucci Guilty Black. And this one is um, it's a good everyday scent. It's kind of on the sweeter side. And um, on the website, it says it's got a, it's like oriental spicy fragrance. So it smells really good. And next is my, this is number five, getting into my top five. So this is by Kate Walsh in Boyfriend. And I got this actually from Sephora. And you see uh, where it's at. <laughs> so I really like this. This is unique. It's named Boyfriend because she wanted to come up with a fragrance to remind her of her boyfriend's scent. So she came up with this, but in a woman's fragrance. So um, from her website... The notes are myrrh, night blooming jasmine, warm, moody, amber musk. That's that. And for my number four, I also got this from Fragrance Net. This is Calvin Klein's Euphoria. Oh, there's the name. And these notes are, it says black violet, pomegranate, black orchid, mahogany wood, persimmon, and lotus blossom. So this one, I wouldn't say this is an everyday fragrance. I'd say this is more of a special occasion fragrance. I mean, I'm sure if you want to wear it every day, you can. But in my case, this is something I'd go out in. And then for number three, this is another suggestion from Beauty by Lee. I was watching that same video where she mentioned another fragrance she really likes. And I think she mentioned it was a powdery scent and I'm a powdery girl. I love fragrances that have that kind of powdery undertone. So she mentioned that and she said she got it on Fragrance Net. So I said, let me take a look at that one. So I ordered it from there to try it. And that is Flower by Kenzo. This is a 1.7 ounce bottle. And this one, it does. It has a powdery fragrance to it, but on the website, it says soft orange flowers and sweet spices is what it says. But to me, it smells like powder. <laughs> so it smells really good. So she was right. I agree with you on this one, Bailey. 
So um, that's number three. Number two is another Calvin Klein fragrance, and it's actually Euphoria Forbidden. So this is just Euphoria. That's what this bottle looks like. And this is Forbidden. But this is my number two because I love this one smells so good. This is another one. I would wear like on a special occasion because it smells so good. And from the website, it says it has tiger orchids, soft peach blossoms, and exotic jasmine notes. So this is my number two. And for my ultimate number one, this is just nothing can top this. Nothing has ever topped this. And I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody on YouTube mention this. So I'm going to bring it up. This is my number one right here. This is by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this is his fragrance in Classique. And I got this one. This is Eau de Parfum. So it'll be stronger. And I got this also from Sephora. All the other ones besides Kate Walsh, boyfriend. Both of those, uh, Kate Walsh and this one I got from Sephora. The rest of them are from FragranceNet.com. So this is my number one top fragrance of all time. And uh, he also makes La Male, which is another, it's a male fragrance. And what it looks like is like the bust of a man's chest. And uh, it's also my favorite male cologne. So I already knew that for a while, but I never smelled this before until I was in Sephora and somebody tried it on and I was smelling it and I was saying, what is that? And somebody sprayed it and I said, oh, okay. I never thought to smell his women's fragrance for some reason, but uh, yeah, so this is number one right here from the website. It says, I'll list those notes. It's uh, rum essence, rose essence, vanilla orchid, daffodil, bourbon vanilla, sweet amber, sandalwood absolute, tonka bean, and amber. So I do love sandalwood. So I was saying maybe that's what I'm smelling in it that's drawing me to the fragrance so much but this I wear definitely on special occasions or just when I want to wear it <laughs> but this is the, my top number one Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique I haven't seen this model on fragrance net I've seen his other one but for some reason, I didn't see this one. Maybe I wasn't looking close enough, but I was saying, well, I got this from Sephora. I have it anyway. This is a 3.3 ounce. I didn't bother getting the smaller one because it wouldn't have been any point. So as you can see, I've had it for a little while, but I don't like to use it too often. I want to savor it. <laughs> so those are my top seven fragrances, and I hope you... Take heed to some of these and try them if you do or if you have them. Let me know what you think or if you try them, definitely let me know. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and add the video of my uh, blushes and my Wet n' Wild palettes after this. Bye! So I will show you a couple of things. Since I used a... Wet n Wild palette from uh, a Wet n Wild palette called Petal Pusher in the video. I wanted to also show the other two palettes I have from Wet n Wild. This is the Blue Had Me at Hello palette, and I also have the Comfort Zone palette. So those are my uh, Wet n Wild palettes that I have. And then I also will go over my blushes that I use on a regular basis. So uh, first off, I will show you my Maybelline collection. 
uh, blush sticks. I think I have them all now, finally. So this one is uh, Plums Up. And Coral Sheen. This one is in Warm Nude that I use as a highlight mainly. And this was Make a Mauve. Very pretty. This one is Pink Fever. And the one I used today in Just Pinched Pink. Also, I have a blush from MAC. It's called Lovejoy. This one's from MAC. It's called Sweet as Cocoa. And then, of course, my elusive and always used La Femme blushes. And... I'll go over these real quick. This one's Flamingo Pink, Passion Plum, Sunkiss Dawn, Frambrosia, Orange, and Bordeaux. And then on the bottom here, I have Lilac Champagne, Purple Passion, Golden Sunset, Golden Ruby, Russet, and this is a burgundy eyeshadow from La Femme that I use for blush too sometimes. So that's my collection of blushes and Wet n Wild palettes. Stay tuned for some more products. I'll just break it down each video at the end. Thanks for watching. Bye.